Welcome to another video. If you remember my last video, or if you're new to this channel, I made a previous video on how to add mods to Lethal Company, the bigger mod lobby to be exact. And I've been getting a few comments saying that it's not working for them. I'm not sure exactly why. It could be an outdated method, I'm not sure. But I do know that Thunderstore Mod Manager now accepts Lethal Company. You can now search in the Mod Manager and find Lethal Company. So if you're unfamiliar with this app, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now there's no more having to worry about updating mods. There's no more having to drag and drop. You can all do it within the mod manager, making it real easy, really quick. So let's get into it. All right, so first things first, we're going to hop on over to the Thunderstore mod manager download page. It was annoying as fuck to find, so check the description link in there. We're going to download this. And once it's downloaded, we're going to open this up, allow access and we're gonna install Mod Manager through Overwolf. Create a desktop shortcut. This is where it's installed. Make sure you change this if you're not happy with where it's going. I am 18 years of age, next. It's gonna do its download, shouldn't take long. All right, now that it's installed, we're gonna launch. And for here, in my previous video, we tried to search this and it wouldn't show up. Now we can find a lethal company. So let's go ahead and give it a search. This is where we'll be selecting the game. Lethal company, select game. This is your profile. Basically, this makes it where you can save different mods for each different profiles. So if you have multiple mods installed, it makes it easier to manage through that. We're just gonna hit select profile, just default. Before we install mods, let's make sure everything is correct. So we're gonna go to settings, locations, and lethal company directory. And now we got to find where Lethal Company is stored on our computer. It's real easy. Should be to go to this PC, C drive, um, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common. And here are our games for Steam. We're going to go to Lethal Company. This is our Lethal Company folder. It's looking for an EXE. So we're gonna click on the Lethal Company application. Click open. Now we have that located. And this might already be correct for you or not. I'm just showing you this just in case it's not. For the Steam directory, let's click on that. So once again, we're gonna go to C drive, 86, Steam, and we're looking for the Steam EXE. Here it is right here. Open. Now, if you have Steam installed in a different driver or folder, make sure you know what folder that is so you can find it and you're just gonna click within the folder there. And now that we have everything linked to where it needs to go, let's get some mods. So click the get mod icon. And I guess we'll do the same mods as the last video. We'll do bigger lobby. Let's just search bigger lobby. All right, here we go. By Bizzlemip. So let's download this and download with dependencies. Also check the version, and depending on what game you got. If you have the latest version, click the latest version of the mod. So if you click download with dependencies, that will download all the other mods that are needed for it. So LC API, Bep and X pack, Bigger Lobby is all here. Bep and X pack, you're gonna need for almost all mods. Um, but yeah, it does it all for you. So now that we have these installed, let's click the modded play button up here. If you wanted to open it without mods, you just go to vanilla and click there, but we want it modded. So let's open it. Lethal Company is launching via Steam. Now this is important. It should show this whenever you click to open the game. This means that Bepinex is running and it's doing its thing. And the game's opening. Click online. Check down here, see V40 mod. Looks like it's working. Let's join a crew. Yep, so here, two out of 20 players. Yep, it's all showing up. I don't have 20 friends to test this out with, but at least we know it's working on the server list. So that's how you install mods. Um, and again, we can get more mods too, it doesn't matter. In the video I made a couple days ago, I used Game Master. So 
I'm going to search Game Master. Click on that. Um, we're just going to download it. But there are some things you need to know with this app. So if you are curious, you can go to a website. And it'll take you to the full page. It tells you anything you need to know about the mod, essentially. So, like for example, it gives you the commands you need. Um, gives you the commands you need for all of this. What to type in. Basically just tells you how to use the mod. Pretty simple. Um, and that goes for any mod. If you're unfamiliar with what the mod does, just click website to take you to it. So anyways, yeah, we're going to download Game Master. Click download. We want the latest version. Download with dependencies. Here we go. It's been added in the mod list. This is how you turn off and toggle mods if you ever need to. We're going to turn them all back on. All right, let's see if Game Master is working. Well, once the game's open, let's follow the prompts. Go to online. Click through that. Version 40 mod. Looks like it's working. Let's host a game. Because you have to be a host to use most of the Game Master's functions. We'll just go to file 3. Now again, the process I showed you works with any mod, as long as it's on the Thunderstore website. So you can add as many mods as you want. Okay, let's see if this works. What the fuck? <laughs> My ship's a little wonky right now, I don't know why. I'm gonna land the ship. Oh, let's see if the mod works. Oh baby, looks like the mod is working. <laughs> oh shit. All right, so let's talk about the edit config section. So some mods that you download are gonna have a configuration that you can edit. So for example, Game Master here that we downloaded, we can go to edit config. And it just makes a real simple UI for you to change configuration settings now a lot of mods may have a configuration setting you just need to check and see for example for game master there's things like natural enemy spawn you can change that um, spring head you can change the speed of different mobs um, there's a lot of stuff you can, you can edit so that's where you find your configuration settings for your mods if you found this video helpful make sure you hit that subscribe button our goal is 500 at the moment um, the more you find my videos helpful and the more you support, the more time I can invest into you. So make sure to join, subscribe, like, comment, or dislike. Depends on how you take the video. I just want your honest opinion. So thank you all.